Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosie and you guys love when I make law of attraction videos. I get from you comments on other videos in my past videos or DMs through my Instagram asking me to talk more about this topic. I already made a video on how to create your vision board, the abundance notebook, how to attract love. And on my Spanish channel, I got a comment. I'm going to translate it. Hi. I like your videos, especially when you talk about Law of Attraction. Can you make a video talking about it and how to use it on our favor during these complicated times? Thank you. So thank you for the comment. And in this video, I'm going to tell you five tips on how to use Law of Attraction, whether it's job, money, love, or in any way that you want to apply it in your life. And without talking anymore, let's begin. Let's use the magic lamp to attract everything that we want in our lives. It's a joke. What matters most is what you have here in your mind. Okay, tip number one is to visualize. But do you actually take the time? Are you doing it correctly? I'm going to show you an exact example. So make sure you are alone. If you are, you can do it right now. And if you're not, just wait until later. If not, you might look weird. <laughs> okay. So here it goes. On your left hand, you have a tennis ball. I can see it's green, it's soft, it has a soft material, and it's not that heavy. I can feel it and I can see it. Now on my right hand, I have a golf ball. It's smaller, it's white, it has small holes, it's heavier, and I can feel the weight on each hand. I can see it, I can feel it, and now let's put these balls away. And that, my friend, is the right way to visualize when you actually take the time to see color, to feel the weight, to actually feel it. And in one of my last videos, I gave you a similar example, like if you want to attract traveling to a certain location, like let's say to France, to Paris, and I said, imagine you're walking and you feel the breeze on your skin, you feel the sun heat on your face, you can picture what you're wearing. You can smell the bread from the cafeteria. You can see the Eiffel Tower. And that is a good way to visualize. When you use all your senses, that's the correct way. So whatever you're trying to at attract in your life, make sure you're using all your senses. Okay, tip number two, take action. So to visualize is a great way to start but are you also taking action? Every day you should be working toward that goal. So let me give you my example. I want to be my own boss. I don't want to depend on a job. So I make sure that every day, even if it's one, two or three hours, but I'm making sure to work towards that goal. So yes, visualizing helps, but taking action is a good combination. So depending on what you are trying to attract, just make sure that every day you work towards that goal by taking action. Tip number three is to stop caring. So let's say you were dating someone, but they broke up with you. I know it's hard, but you also need to understand that it's, it's just meant to be, that someone better is coming for you and you simply need to stop caring or for a job opportunity, whatever the occasion might be. You don't need to care. So depending on what you are trying to attract, you have to stop caring about when it's going to happen, how it's going to happen, but trust the universe that it will bring that to you. What's meant for you, it's meant for you. And so what I like to do, there are two specific things that I'm trying to attract by this year. The, one of the first things I do in the morning is read those two lists and I get happy about it. I get excited. I get the emotion. I get the feeling like if it's already happening and then I let it go. I stop thinking about it throughout the day. So I stop caring, 
but I also trust the universe that it will happen at the right time. Okay, tip number four is to calm your mind. Do some sort of meditation. We are always, every day we are bombarded with so many things about how is your family doing? Where are we going this weekend? What's happening in the news? But we also need a moment to calm our mind. And a great way to do that is with meditation. So depending on what you need, get on YouTube and find a meditation, whether it's on how to attract your perfect job, if you want to attract more money, a meditation on attracting your soulmate, whatever it is, you can go on YouTube, search it up. And that's something that I do before I go to sleep. I listen to the same meditation and it's even better if you listen to one meditation at least for 30 days because that those messages start it's like our mind is like a program you start reconditioning your mind so by 30 days you will have better results don't try to do like one meditation here and another because then you're just going like a ping pong you're just jumping from here and there so you want to focus on one thing at a time and that's also something i do like in the morning so at night time for me it's like one type of meditation but then in the morning it's another type of meditation that i listen to every single day so that's how i start to end my day and start my day tip number five take care so what do i mean by take care so take care of what you see what you listen to what you eat so if you're surrounded by bad people go with the good positive people but you also want to make sure that you are also feeling that way because if not, it wouldn't make much sense or stop seeing less news. I believe in balance. I believe in being informed, but not to the point where you are getting yourself stressed out. And what foods are you eating? Are you keeping yourself healthy? So are you eating plenty of fruits and vegetables, those foods that are alkalizing to your body or the acidity foods or the acid foods so you want to make sure that you're eating the healthy foods to keep yourself in a good state to keep your vibration higher your mind healthier it's just that everything is so connected and that will help you feel good about yourself and if you feel good about yourself then you have good thoughts and it's easier to attract whatever you want into your life everything is connected in this planet in this universe so those are five tips about law of attraction. Let me know what you think. I enjoyed making this video. And as always, you can let me know what else you would like to see on the channel. You can follow me on all social media accounts. You can subscribe to the channel. You can give it a thumbs up and you can leave me a comment. So until next time, kisses. Bye.